my face now. Ooh. Now. That was very rude of you. Get the fuck out of my face. Do you want to go to jail? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you saw from that intro, today's video is going to be a crazy one. So I was scrolling through Instagram the other day and I came across this video which almost made me spit out my water as I was drinking it because what in the world did I just watch? And I figured if I gotta be tortured, so do you. So today we're gonna watch this very quick video together of a trans identifying man showing just how ladylike he is when things don't go his way in a social setting. Seems to be a common theme. So without further ado, sit back, relax, grab some Coca-Cola, grab some popcorn, and let's watch this disaster together. All right, let the disaster begin. And by the way, there is a lot of profanity from this person, so I'm gonna do my best to try and edit so that way you guys don't have to hear a bunch of F-bombs. So you probably will hear a lot of bleeps. <laughs> I'm doing that as a courtesy to people who don't like profanity, so. Just bear with me. Get out of my face now! Ooh, that was, now! That was very rude of you. Get the f out of my face! Do you want to go to jail? Sir, ma'am, I don't really know what to call you. No You're way. F done, man. No I'm way. done. Get the f police, you just insulted me. Well, listen here, pal. I mean, ha, you are going to go to jail. And I can tell the police to get you. I'm vegan, so don't say that. Listen. You told me he, ma'am. You really get the f out of my way right now. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. You do not have a release. I will sue you. You're gonna sue him? Don't sue him, man, because we're trying to just- I don't have a- You do not have a release. If you f***ing post this, I will destroy you. I will destroy you. I will destroy you. Just keep going on. I got my crew with me now. I got my crew. Yeah! Yeah! What's up? Woo! Who won? Who's next? Wow. Wow. You know, every time I see videos like this, it always kind of cracks me up because these trans identifying men who are biological males wanting to be women, every time they get upset, we see this type of reaction. I've seen this reaction multiple times on social media, whether it be in a store, whether it be with Ben Shapiro, whether it be out and about in front of a school. Genetics? Genetics? To discuss the genetics or well, no? Well, no, what no. are your genetics? Sir? I, I... So I'd stay away from the genetics and back to the brain scans. You cut that out now or you'll go home in an ambulance. Yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion. Yeah. 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 Call me transphobic. You are yeah. transphobic. Now get out. I want to be it's like you can't just threaten people because you're upset with them or because they misgendered you. That's not how society works. Unfortunately for you, it's not how it works. And also, if you're trying to convey the essence of a woman and femininity and all the things that a woman entails, do you really think acting like the Hulk on steroids is a good look? I mean, look how fast that trans identifying man showed his masculinity. I mean, ready to fight another guy in the street because he says something that you didn't like. Now, let me ask you a question. How many women, and I'm talking about women who by birth are female, how many women at that stage in life are going up to men wanting to fight them? How many? How many women hear something from a man that they don't like and their first instinct is to say, let's fight, let's box, let's go? How many? Because in the real world, for actual women, they can't do that. See, in the real world, when women are disrespected by a man or disrespected by a male figure, they can't just box them in the street. That's not how it works. See, they don't have the privilege to be able to assert their sudden maleness when it's appropriate or when it's convenient. Because what we saw right there was all man. It was. Women, for the most part, don't act like that. And if they do, they've got no home training. But most women are not going to, in public, decide to get into a fist fight with a man who they know is probably going to be stronger than they are. But something tells me that trans identifying man knew that he could take that other guy because they are about the same size and strength wise, they probably are equals. That's called privilege. Because you're getting to use what works for you when it's convenient, which is something that women cannot do. So keep it up, keep exposing yourselves, keep it up. And if that was supposed to display <laughs> some sort of respect, it's going to have the opposite reaction because you're acting like a crazy person on the streets. You're threatening somebody else, not once, not twice, but a couple of times. You're cussing them out. You're threatening to sue them only after beating their ass. <laughs> make that make sense. And here's the thing. You can't police people's words. If he wants to call you a sir or a man, that's his prerogative. You don't have to like it. 
See, my thing is, if you're so secure with who you are and you truly believe that you are a female, then it shouldn't matter what a stranger has to say about you. But if you're that fragile, that a stranger saying sir gets you that upset to where you want to fight them on the street, yeah, something tells me you're very unstable and you need to contact your therapist because things are not working. (laughs) There's something internal going on with you that is making you have that type of reaction and it's not normal. It's really not. I mean, we've seen on some occasions of people like that individual creating havoc in schools with mass shootings and just being unhinged, being unhinged and society looking the other way. And you could say the guy who was interviewing was being an agitator. Sure he was. But here's the thing. Just because somebody is pissing you off does not give you the right to suddenly become violent and make threats. That's not how a society works. But I'm sure most liberals will watch that video and be like, oh, so upset, I'm so upset. He was agitating her. If that were a biological female, I guarantee you that scene would have played out very differently because no woman is going to challenge a man to a fist fight. But in today's world, women can have bulges, right Dylan? Normalize the bulge, women can have bulges. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this video. Do you agree with me? Is this person just asserting their privilege as a man to be able to fight another man in the streets? while also calling themselves a female, seems very convenient. If you enjoy my content, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit my notification bell so you know when I post a brand new video. Until next time, peace.